All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakawa Ha Quarash. All right, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone that are ruling well. And peace and safety to all the sincere, true occupants out here pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, so I just want to do a quick little lesson. Um, I was um, watching the brothers out in um, Baltimore. Um, Doing a lesson on um, um, not letting just anybody into your camp, and um, and um, I wanted to just speak on something that I guess the spirit jumped on me to, to think of. Uh, I was talking, texting a brother just a few minutes ago, and I was like, I might as well just do a lesson on this. Um, it's going, you know, the spirit behind the scenes uh, has through the spirit the. the, the the Most High is connecting all these dots together within the camps. All right, you know, brothers and um, brothers in different camps are starting to do lessons together, speaking and building and and, and dealing with it and dealing with this ministry as men. You know, um, you know, talk men in uh, Texas, talking to men in in uh, California, men in Chicago, talking to men and. Uh, Cleveland, Cleveland talking to Atlanta, Tampa, and, and everybody in between. All right, and that's not just for the simple fact of of just men holding conversations with each other. All right, it's that's part of it. But uh, another part of it, I was just thinking of, is this going to be when you start having these different individuals pop up to the camp? You got to you got to interview these men. All right, you got to start asking these men. When did they find this truth? Or how long they unknown this truth? Where they been at? What? Where they from? You got to start asking these type of questions because you're gonna start having men that may have um, may have tried to get in the camp in in, uh, in Atlanta, all right, but then something happens down here and they might get cast away or, or whatever the case may be, and then they might try to run and and, and join the, the Charlotte camp. Or run to Florida and join the Tampa camp or the Orlando camp, or they might have left the Tampa camp, or the or the the Charlotte camp or the or the New York camp or the D.C. camp and came here, and thinking they just gonna come out and listen and play the part and they know some scriptures and then you know men for the some might be a little simple, to the case of well this man got it, not knowing that this guy was a straight demon in another city and state. All right, so you gotta start. You gotta start interviewing these men. You gotta start scrutinizing. All right, these individuals, man. All right, just because a man come out there and they know a few precepts and they know that they tribe they are, they know that white man is the devil. They know he's Esau. All right, they know the salute. That don't mean nothing, man. Because as we get closer and closer to the end, all of these reprobates, all of these fallouts, these individuals, they gonna try to reappear. All right. And they're not going to try to reappear to the some of them are not going to try to just reappear to the very camp that they brought uh, havoc and, and chaos to. All right. Because there's a lot of individuals that were amongst us that can't come back and they know. It. And if they did, you know, if they did, we, we give them we curse their ass out. All right. And that's another point, too. You know, you go, you'll start seeing more men that was once amongst you that bugged out, that got that when they, they had an emotional temper tantrum or made some bad decisions. And they're going to try to come back down and they're going to try to use your sympathy and use your love for brothers or or wanting men to make it against you, man. All right. So you got to you got to you got to apply these scriptures, man. If a man ain't if a man had a disagreement with you and he went out. And he taught the wrong doctrine or he didn't teach at all. All right, that man's not meek. That's matter of fact, let me just get that. Let me just get that. All right, let's go to Matthew. Bear me one second. I, this is uh Matthew 3. I saw the three and four, and it says, and the same John and his raiment of of camel's hair and a leather girdle about his loins and meat was locust and wild honey then went out to him Jeru to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region around about Jordan 
and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the, 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 the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. And you have a lot of people that'll say that. Well, I'm an Israelite and blase, blase. But it's like, you've been a nigga behind the scenes. All right. Here it is. And I'll speak on it, man. All right. Even in within the photo of Atlanta, the GMS Atlanta camp, there's a lot of niggas that was once amongst us prior to me joining the camp going back six, seven years ago. All right. Eight years ago. All right. And those men might pop up on me. And I might not. I might know a few of them by face and, and story. All right. And they might try to pop up on me and play the card of, you know, they 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 just was innocent. They don't know they you know. They, 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 they want repentance and forgiveness and all that, all right? But that's why you got to apply. You got to be in order, man, all right? You, that's why you got to go to your camp heads. Go to members that's been in your camp longer than you. You know this guy? All right, who's this guy? What's up with this guy? What's the deal with this guy? All right, you got you to gotta scrutinize and question these people like, like, like any other. Like, hey, when you try to join any other organization out here, we don't know. We're not like Nate. We don't want your social security number. Like we're going to do a background check on you. But we are going to do a spiritual background check on you. Like, how long do you know the truth? Oh, yeah? You just found out about the truth when? 2015? Where you been at? So you, so this whole time, you, you, you've you known about the truth in 2015, and you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't link up with no men to join a camp? You ain't been teaching? That should be a red flag in itself in 2018, all right? In 2018, there's camps all over the place. So where the hell have you been at? All right? Well, you know, I used to live in Charlotte. Okay, and, you know, I moved here. It's like, oh, okay, that's what's up. But then as soon as you get finished with that, you need to let your camp head know or whoever the case may be. Or if you are that individual with, 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 with a connection or two back in, the, in another camp, maybe the camp close by. Like I said, Charlotte, because Charlotte's close to here because it ain't nothing for men. Or I won't say men, but um, people in the world to um, move transition back and forth between Charlotte and North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? That's just a, about three and a half, four hour distance between here. Two, two, it's really no other major cities between really here and Charlotte. So, you know, a lot of people come back and forth from here. All right. So you gotta, you gotta, you can't just be okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now you got a, a fucking nigga in your camp, man. All right. You gotta make certain calls. Hey, you know, you, you know this guy. You heard about such and such. And they might be like, nah, then okay, well you follow the spirit and proceed. But then if it's a if it's a fucking they might tell you, nah, he's a nigga. See? By handling things properly, it saved you saved you some troubles, okay? All right. Now let's stick back to like I said, I want to stick to this whole subject matter of these ex bug outs trying to come back, man, because that's gonna happen because it's prophecy. All right? But you gotta handle it. In decency and in order, man. Don't let your emotions get in the way of what's right, man. All right? Now, if an individual, man, you might have had a difference with an individual within the fold, and then something happens where they get removed or whatever the case may be, and they go out and they still teach this word and high, to the highways and byways, they teach their lessons, and they haven't changed the doctrine which they received through the spirit. How about you? I was shot from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Then that's a whole other subject matter. You just got to re reweigh the case out and be like, well, that man stood tall. He shows that he still has love for this word. Then you you could proceed then. But if this nigga go out here and he teaching that the earth is flat and he teaching um, the market of beasts ain't a chip and, you know, he disrespecting the elders and the apostles. Fuck him, man. All right. This is Matthew 25. And. Um, I saw that six. All right. And it says, and at midnight, there was a cry made and behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out. And we see that through the spirit with a lot of individuals. All right, a lot of you niggas, the, you, you, you got an oil spill, man. All right, you, you, you're, you're, you're leaking oil, all right, and you're burning out. 
Okay? And it's on us to apply this scripture. Nah, go to them, go to he who gives it freely. All right? But you can't get it back with us. We don't want you. All right? And then the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered and said, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they came, while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the to the marriage and the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgins saying this is the foolish virgins coming because they had to they had to they had to go off the track. All right. If they would have stayed in order, they would have proceeded with the orders. OK, proceeded in the in in, in the orderly fashion. All right. It says, but he answered and said, verily, I say unto you, I know you not. OK, I know you not. That's where they're going to get the answer from. The, How about Shimei I was shy? So like I say, for us men that's laboring, that's, that's in positioning to watch the folds, you got to be mindful that these different characters in these different cities and states. I know for a fact in the years that I've been with the Atlanta camp. There's been a lot of individuals that's come to the camp and listen that it ain't working out. It didn't work out for them. A lot of men that came in the camp that got that got casted out. OK, a lot of men before me with the brothers here. Hey, when I was in it before I joined the Atlanta camp, when I joined the Atlanta camp, I was like the seventh man to come in. Now, prior to that, the camp had got all the way up to 18, 19, 20 members. OK. So all those men outside of the out of all those men, they're all gone now, back into the world. But they don't you don't think that they can recognize that things is heating up in the world and they're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. All right, that the spirit is bearing witness to them, that judgment's coming their way. All these men, you don't think the same thing with the apostles. It's a, like I said, that's the same thing here in my city. So I can understand, I, I pretty much so know for a fact that it's the same thing with you brothers in Chicago, Detroit, L.A., the Bay, Seattle, Colorado, and everywhere in between. Going back to the old school, men that were around the apostles and elders going back to the early 90s, 2000s, all right? These men, they're going to pop back up. But it's on us to apply what the scriptures say and not what our emotions and thinking numbers all right. Don't think numbers. Think quality. Think what the Lord said. All right. We're in a time of judgment, man. And these people, they're going to try to creep back in, slither back in. You got to you got to question these men, man. These men that's trying to come in now. Where you been at? How long you known you were Israelite? If a man give you an answer longer than a year and a half, two years, and you, you got to question well, where the hell you been at? Where you from here? So you ain't you 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 been you've known this truth for three four years, and you lived in Atlanta this whole time, and you you never came out here to 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 to, to seek seek the men of the Lord. All right, cool. Well, you know, so Shalom. Let his ass stand over there for the next till the chariots come back, man. All right. So with that, I'm gonna close up here. I don't wanna make this too long. I wanna give all glory and honor to Yahweh Shimei Shalom.